Welcome back to our National Signing Day special. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Red Hawks, and a chance to talk with the Director of Athletics for Miami University, David Saylor, joins us. And David, uh, talking a lot about how far this program has come over the last four years and five years, obviously, under your direction. And so much has changed, uh, as, uh, not only on the football field with the coaching staff and the improvements made uh, on the field for this team, but also off the field. It's been a, a wonderful four years for Miami Athletics. Yeah, I've been, I was reflecting on it just last week. I was in Atlanta with Jude Killey. We were doing some fundraising and we were talking about it had been five years mm -hmm. since my press conference. And that first year, you're really just trying to get your plan put together and figured out what you want to attack and how mm -hmm. you're going to go do it. And to look at the last four years and the progress we've made with our campaign, raising $74 million, uh, the new facilities, the scholarship support, the red and white support, it's just been unbelievable the fact that people have really bought into what, what we're planning to do and working on doing and, and our mission to graduate champions. It's real exciting to see the progress that's that's occurred and will continue to occur. You know, that sometimes is something that's lost. You mentioned an $80 million campaign, $74 million raised, and none of the improvements, whether it's through scholarships or the facilities that we'll talk about, can be done without those people getting involved and being a part of it. And I know that's been your biggest focus since, since joining Miami. Yeah, and I think just that shared vision and people believing in the mission of mm -hmm. what we're doing every day and our student athletes are the best representatives for me when I send a video to a donor or the a student athlete talking about thanking them for their scholarship gift or when the red and white club does that mm -hmm. it's just such a powerful tool because we have such great kids and uh, I'm just proud of everyone I'm proud of the, the the donor base getting on board and really being excited about Miami athletics again and we just need to take it to that next step going forward not only do, do they, those donors have a say in you know helping this program but they also have a say in how things are done sometimes because I know we're going to start talking about with the indoor the Dalk indoor sports center that initially wasn't the plan to build that one first yeah I, I always came in knowing I wanted to connect the two buildings a performance center slash kind of operations building mm -hmm. and an indoor. And I really thought about the performance center first because it's where the kids are going to be living 360 days out of the right. year and using. Um, that was the one I had a big drive and passion for. And, and I started going out and talking to people and they really started saying, I really want to get this indoor done. We've been talking about this for so long right. and it'll benefit so many teams. And so that's where the intent was. And we went ahead and moved on that and got that building built and then within a year we, we went ahead and connected the performance center to it so it's really turned out beautifully and better than I could have hoped. And, and actually both of those buildings you know you go down there and obviously football is headquartered in the APC uh, the offices are there uh, their auditorium and that sort of stuff but in that weight training facility and sports medicine facility in the APC plus of course the Dalk Indoor Sports Center every team just about every team gets a benefit out of those two buildings. Yes yeah, so many teams are using the indoor mm -hmm. and and then the weight room is, is using multiple teams. There's mm -hmm. about four different teams that use that weight space. And it also frees up the space here in Gross, right. which is important. Um, and then, the, like you said, the training room and the rehab space is available for all the student athletes. And so to really have state-of-the-art stuff and our partnership with Mercy Health, it's really just been something that we take care of our kids. That's what mm -hmm. we're here to do in every facet of their life and, and try to give them the best chances to get back on the field, court, whatever, and, and that building helps do that. And uh, those improvements continue. You mentioned the sports medicine side of things, and we want to move into a, a new addition coming up this year. I know they're working on the room right now, and that is the DARI system. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, and again, that system couldn't even be thought of if we were still in our existing space. We're going to use some of the old Yeager West space that we vacated to, mm -hmm. to create this room where where there's going to be multiple cameras situated all throughout the room and it can really study your bone density and, and your bone structure. And so student athletes will just perform a series of different movements and it will create a baseline for them as to you know, what their body looks like and maybe areas they need to strengthen um, themselves through strength training. And then also when they're injured, it'll give us the chance to look at where they are now versus mm -hmm. the baseline. And then when they're rehabbing, we kind of know when they're back ready for, for play. It's a system that the Ravens and a lot of NFL teams use. That's where I saw it. Mm -hmm. I went to visit Coach Harbaugh in Baltimore and he's like, you got to 
check out this room. And so they had taken an old racquetball court in their facility and put the cameras up and, and he showed me kind of what it can do. Mm -hmm. And so I, brought, I came back to campus, I talked to Doc Daly about it and he got super excited. And right. so we were able to invest in the technology with some donor support again mm -hmm. and uh, be one of the first universities I'm aware of to be using the system. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not too many division ones and certainly nobody in the MAC is, is using this system. And uh, as you said, I, I think the key component of this system is to help cut down on injuries for all of our student athletes. Yeah, because as much as we want to prevent injuries, and that's the goal with everything that we do and talk about in terms of strength training and preparing mm -hmm. for the seasons, kids are going to get hurt, and, and our goal is to take care of them the best of our ability and get them back ready for play whenever that can be. And so the underwater treadmill is getting used way more than anybody thought it was going to get right. used. Um, I actually would like to get another one, and um, but but also all the other equipment down in the training area, rehab space. But then this Dari system is going to be kind of a last piece of the puzzle, mm -hmm. and really giving our kids the best opportunity to get back healthy as quick as possible and in the safest way as possible. Yeah, that'll be coming online very soon. And David, as you look forward, obviously, uh, you know, five years in the books, as you look forward for the Miami football program, uh, what's your plan, what's your vision uh, for this team going forward? Well, when I, when I arrived and really started talking about these buildings and the resources that we needed to get things done, it was all pointed towards being a New Year's Day Bowl team. Mm -hmm. That's what, you know, Western Michigan did last year and Northern Illinois has done in the past from our league. So I think there's every reason to believe that Miami should be able to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're doing all these things. Right. So uh, I think this, and with that happening, it would obviously mean conference championships. Mm -hmm. And that's really ultimately where Miami needs to be winning that conference championship and, and looking beyond. So that's our goal. We've spent a lot of time this off season talking about process mm -hmm. and how to get there what that means, what does that look like every day in the weight room, every day at practice, every day in the film room, every day in the coaches room, just really focusing all of our efforts. And I think that uh, fans are gonna see a big payoff next year with a really senior laden team that we haven't had talent-wise here at Miami in a long time. And of course, uh, you went, this team has gone from rebuilding to kind of restocking. We're all about National Signing Day today, and uh, these these guys coming in today will, will have an opportunity, if not immediately, certainly down the line to contribute to that. Yeah, and they've heard about the vision. They've seen the, the progress that we've been able to make in a program since Chuck arrived and, and look to continue to push forward next year. And, and we've also talked openly about getting the APC funded and finished, mm -hmm. and then really looking towards doing some things with the suites, press mm -hmm. box kind of renovation that needs to be done, and probably a new football turf at some point here in the next three or four years. So those are things that we're going to continue to invest in our football program and continue to find a way to make it the best in the MAC the way it should be, both in terms of facilities, you know, resources, and mm -hmm. then also it, with results on the field. All right, David, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Peg. David Saylor, Director of Athletics, joining us here. We'll be back with more of our National Signing Day special in just one moment.